Hello, and welcome to our East London flat tour. Come on in. I live in an East London flat together with my husband Antoine and we've been living here for just under a year. The flat is close to the Columbia Road flower market and it's in a beautiful Georgian property which is grade 2 listed. Unfortunately that means that we only have single glazing which makes it a bit difficult to heat but it also means that we have amazingly high ceilings. In this flat tour we're going to show you the hallway, the bathroom, the kitchen, our bedroom and my favourite room of all the living room. To start off with, as you can see, we are currently in the hallway. This was kind of a surprise to us when we came to view the property because it wasn't actually in the listing. But as you can see, there's some pretty amazing storage space. And one of my favorite aspects is all of these covers, which open up and store all of our coats, wallets, everything really. We have decided to only put up two or three things in the flat because we don't want to pay to fix all of the walls when we move out. In fact, the reason we're filming this video, even though we've only been here for a year, is because our landlord's actually selling the flat and so we have to move. Anyway, let's go into the bathroom. While this may not look huge for London, it's actually pretty big. And the best thing is that we have a bath as well as a shower. The bath is quite nice because it's half size, so it doesn't cost as much to fill. But unfortunately, we can't really use it because there's a lot of plumbing issues in this flat. We also have the toilet, which is okay, but it takes 20 minutes to refill between flushes, which is fine when it's just me and my husband, but always a bit awkward when you have guests around. Let's move on to my second favorite the kitchen. This is where we store all of our bags. The kitchen is definitely the thing that really drew us to the flat because in Paris we had 37 square meters, now we have 49. Our kitchen is massive. We even have a small dishwasher, which is currently empty, thanks to Antoine. A giant fridge, currently empty because we've just been traveling. There's just a few uh, pickles in there. And a freezer. This is where all of the boiler and stuff is, but I think there's a mouse living in there, so we won't open that. And then we have a microwave, the oven, hot plate, kind of everything you need in a kitchen. I also love the views from the kitchen. It's just really beautiful to look out. I also love the high ceilings in here as in the rest of the flat. And we even have more storage up there, although we currently can't use it because our landlord is using it for storage. <laughs> Let's go into the bedroom. This, as you can see, is our bedroom. We have our double bed here, which is pretty cozy. And I installed this kind of furniture thing so that I can store all of my clothes. This is where I store all of my books about Paris. I have three more boxes of books of my parents, but we currently don't have room for them. And so these are just my favorite ones. It's pretty good because in this room, our landlord has installed a kind of double glazing. It's really, really quiet in here. This is where I record a lot of my audio for my videos, but it also helps us sleep better at night because we live quite close to a police station and that well that's London right one of the best aspects of this room come in so I can close the door to open another one we have a huge wardrobe well it's huge for London you can even go in it I forgot to mention that our flat came partially furnished and so you can see that we have the bed. We didn't have any bedside tables and so we just used some stools that our landlord left behind because we don't necessarily want to invest in a lot of nice furniture while we don't own a property. I also really enjoy this room because we've got a lot of storage space. Let's go in the lounge. Welcome to my favorite space in the entirety of the apartment and where we spend 90% of our time. This is our living room, lounge, and our work area. I know a few people are going to remark on this because a few of our plants look a bit yellow. Unfortunately, we've been dealing with a thrip infestation since I'd say August. I wash the plants in the shower each week, but they keep coming back. So if you have any solutions to this, put a comment down below. We should probably have cleaned the windows beforehand, but I love the view because we look onto one of the most cute, like cutest pubs in East London. And we can just sit here, look at the pub and also watch the TV. This is also where we store our Switch, PlayStation, all the games. Come on over here. One of the best parts about living in a historic Georgian flat is that there's quite a few beautiful period features. I particularly love our fireplace. Unfortunately, due to building regulations in London, you can't use the fire. And so we use it to store a painting, but I still love it looking at it nonetheless. As I mentioned, we don't want to put too many things on the walls because they're pretty pristine at the moment and we don't want to pay to fix them. However, we luckily have all of these shelves where we can put some of our favorite paintings. And one thing I want to draw your attention to is the small trophy up there, 
which Antoine won as man of the league this latest season. This is my giant bear. My friends got me for him in Paris because during lockdown in Paris, lots of the cafes replaced their usual patrons with giant bears. I just think he's so cute. And so he'll definitely be staying with us and moving to the next property. This is our dining room table and also kind of where we do a lot of work when we've got too many things on the desk. This is also our main entertainment area and where we have friends over for dinner. And the best thing is that I just have to turn around, tuck this chair in. <laughs> And I'm at my workspace, which is kind of messy right now. I'm not gonna lie, it's always messy. The only reason the rest of the apartment is tidy is because Antoine tidied it earlier. That's it, that is our flat. So thank you so much for coming on this tour and see you next time.